Today I'm going to explain the movie called The Late Bloomer from 2016. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. And I hope you enjoy it. This movie is about a 27 year old man and after turning 27 he suddenly became too active in a sexual relationship. Then what happens next? Watch the whole video to know the rest. The movie begins with a man named Peter. He was 27 years old, and he was a sex therapist. He treats sex-obsessed people. Peter started the therapy of a very hot patient, but the girl started to seduce him and offered him to have sex with her. But we saw that Peter was such a good guy and he gave the girl a book that he wrote by himself. He wrote about how we can control our feelings and live our lives in peace. Peter was totally against sex, and he says that he never got the urge to have sex in his life. He thinks that sex distracts us from our goal, and we can live our life without sex. After that, we saw Peter in his room with two of his friends. They were Rich and Luke. They had the key to Peter's house. From their conversation, we found that they were such playboys. Peter told them he needs to go outside for some time, because Michelle invited him over to her house, and she will cook some dishes for him. We found out that Peter secretly likes her. He went to Michelle's house with a wine bottle, and then he met Charlie. Charlie was Michelle's boyfriend. Charlie only cares about his business. Then Peter met Michelle, and she was cooking different types of dishes for everyone. Peter tried that food, and he was so happy with them. He told Michelle to open up a restaurant. Michelle liked this idea as well. After the party, Peter went to his parents' house, and his dad was so worried about him being non-sexual. He told his mom that it would still be fine if he was gay. But he has no idea about what he is and why he is like this. He has no attraction towards sex at all. Peter discovered that his book has become very famous. His boss told him this. And he's been invited to a very popular radio show for an interview. And she also told him that this interview will be very much beneficial for the clinic. When she came back home in the evening, he met Charlie outside of Michelle's room. And Peter found out that they broke up since Charlie was always busy with his work. He didn't give any time to Michelle. Peter went to meet Michelle after Charlie left. He hugged her since she was so sad. After that, Michelle told him, now I will focus on being a chef. And Peter also told her to listen to her heart. Michelle was impressed by his words, and suddenly she kissed him. But still, Peter was not interested in having sex. He felt a headache and left her house. Actually, Peter had this sickness where he will get headaches at different times of the day. And we will find the reason behind this ahead in the video. The next morning, Luke and Rich took Peter with them to play basketball match. While playing, another player threw the ball at his balls, and Peter passed out right on the court. Luke and Rich immediately took him to the hospital, and he got the headache once again. The doctor did a CT scan and MRI scan of his head. When the doctor took off his pants, then they found his testicles, but they were too small in size. Which means his testicles were smaller than normal. This was the reason behind him being non-sexual. The next morning, the doctor got the reports of those tests, and he told Peter that he has a tumor in his body, and it has squeezed his pituitary gland for years. That's why his body is not developing any testosterone hormones. And his body was developing a hormone called prolactin. This means Peter never reached puberty, even though he was 27 years old. And that's why Peter never got the urge to have sex. And he wrote so many books against sex. The doctor told him that they will take out his tumor through operation, and then he will achieve puberty. After hearing this, Peter became so happy, because he always thought that there was something wrong with him. Peter's operation was successful, and everyone welcomed him into his new life. Peter went to his parents' house from the hospital so that his body could recover faster. He tried to get a heart on by looking at hot magazines, but nothing happened. The next day, his friends came to meet him. They brought a stripper with them to solve Peter's problem. They told the girl to seduce him. The girl tried so hard, but still, Peter didn't get his heart on. But Luke had his heart on, and the girl was also tired. The next morning, Peter woke up and came downstairs. When his parents saw him, they were so happy. They started to celebrate, which means finally he had his first erection. Finally, he achieved puberty. He immediately got ready to live his new life. He went to his apartment and saw that his friend Luke brought a girl to have sex with. Peter immediately told them to leave, but still, Peter's penis was so hard. 
That's why he went to the bathroom and masturbated. After that, he masturbated all the time. One day, Michelle told him that she was going to a cooking challenge. And if she wins the challenge, then she will get to work in a big restaurant in Los Angeles. Then she will be able to start her journey to become a chef. That's why she will be out of town this week. After hearing this, Peter felt a bit sad, but still he was happy for her. When he went to his office, he became horny because of the story of his patient, and he was feeling very uncomfortable. He straight went to the doctor and asked him about his problems and why he was getting too much attracted towards sex. The doctor told him that you achieved puberty 15 years later, and that's why everything is happening inside your body very fast. This means the fire you've had inside your body since your teenage years has now become a volcano. There will be some side effects of this as well, such as uncomfortable feelings, sudden urge to have sex, and your voice will change as well. But don't worry, everything will be fixed soon. That evening, Peter talked to Michelle and asked her about the first day of the competition. But Michelle talked about someone else, and Peter felt a bit jealous. The next day, Peter went to a radio show for an interview. He was not able to complete the interview due to a sudden change in his voice. That night, he went to meet his parents and told them about his problems. His parents told him about puberty very clearly. But instead of listening to them, he started to argue with them like a teenage kid. And then he left. When he left, we found out that his dad was not upset about this argument. Instead, he was happy. And he told his wife that we've waited for 15 years for this moment. Peter was talking to Michelle on a video call, and once again Michelle told him about another guy. He became mad at her and cut the call. The next morning when Peter met Rich and Luke, Rich told him to babysit his kid on the upcoming 22nd day of the month, because it was their anniversary. He and his wife will have dinner, and then they will have sex, because they were not able to have sex because of their kid. Peter agreed with him. Slowly, Peter was getting too much attracted towards sex. That's why one of his neighbors told him to meet some girls on Tinder. Then he could have sex. Peter did this to earn some experience, because he does not want to disappoint Michelle at all. Peter did this all day and all night, and he had sex with so many girls. One day when he came back to his apartment, he saw Charlie outside of Michelle's house. He came here to say sorry to Michelle, and he had brought flowers for her as well. Peter told him not to worry and he will give her the flowers when she comes back. Charlie trusted him and left. That night, suddenly Michelle came back and she found the flowers. She said thank you to Peter for the flowers. But Peter didn't tell her that Charlie had sent these flowers. After that, Peter straightly asked her to go out on a dinner date with him. She agreed with him and since it was their first date, Peter got dressed up very well. But then suddenly, his friend Rich called him. He told him that tonight you were supposed to come here and babysit my kid. Peter forgot that today was the 22nd day of the month. Peter told him that they could not go there because he was going on a date with Michelle. Rich became mad at him and Peter was acting like a kid. Peter went to a fancy restaurant with Michelle. Michelle was so impressed because it was too tough to get a seat in that restaurant. Peter acted like a spoiled teenager in front of Michelle because he wanted to show her that he's not like before anymore. Now he's become so cool. Michelle found it very weird. They started having dinner, but then Rich came there with his wife. And we found out that Rich had booked this table, but Peter was sitting at this table with Michelle. Actually, Peter stole Rich's reservation, because he thought that Rich would never come since his kid was home. But Rich told him that Luke came to babysit his kid at the last minute because he was not selfish like Peter. After hearing this, Michelle left the restaurant. When Peter stopped her, she told him that she just received a message from Charlie, and he told me that he had sent me those flowers, not you. And then she left. The next day, we saw Peter in his office. His patient told him about her fantasies. She told him that she's obsessed with oral sex. Since Peter just hit puberty, his penis got hard after hearing her story. He started to take off his pants to have oral sex with his patient, but then his boss caught him red-handed and suspended him for some time. Time went by and Peter was having difficulties in controlling his urges and changes in his body. He was so depressed and worried, so he went to his dad. He told him that he could not control his emotions and feelings about sex. His dad told him that this is normal for a guy who just hit puberty. It's in our DNA. But we must face our situations, because there's a difference between a real man and a man who just acts like a real man. Peter asked him about what he should say in the radio show because he can't even control himself. 
His dad told him to say anything that comes to his mind. The next day, in the show, Peter told everyone that the book he's written is trash, and he told them that I haven't felt this feeling for the past 15 years, and now I've learned to express my feelings instead of ignoring them. Sex is a very important part of our life, and we should enjoy it instead of ignoring it. Everyone became so happy with him and clapped their hands. After that, Peter went to Rich and said sorry to him. Rich forgave him. Then Rich and Luke told him to go to Michelle and tell her the truth. She'll understand for sure. After that, he went to Michelle's restaurant and she was with Charlie. And he told everyone about his tumor and puberty and the problem he's gone through. Michelle became sad by this story and Michelle broke up with Charlie. Michelle and Peter kissed each other in front of everyone. In the last scene, we saw that Michelle was pregnant and she was with Peter. Peter was doing therapy for the kids and he wrote a book about puberty and its problems. To watch more explanations of these kinds of movies, click on the videos on your screen. And don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below.